This was a month of libraries. <laughs> I didn't plan on this being a month um, for libraries, but that's just kind of how it turned out. And I'm speaking of the month of August because it is now September and that's coming later. <laughs> um, so basically, um, I had like an unofficial theme for the month. I didn't plan it. It just kind of happened that way. Um, I read two books and um, I enjoyed both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you all the wrap up information and then I will um, do my reviews. So I am um, eight. I'm um, sorry. I've only read 18 books this year. So I'm six books behind in my whole, you know, Goodreads challenge. But again, I haven't really been, you know, hitting that goal the way I had started out the year doing lots of bumps in the road. But um, if I do decide to get caught up, I think it'll happen within the next month or two, because I do have a lot of really cool stuff that I'm reading. Some of it is short, some of it's long, but um, when I get in a groove where I'm enjoying what I'm reading, I can read a lot. I just was in a slump for so long where I wasn't really enjoying the stuff that I was reading. So we'll see what happens. Um, the two things that I did read and complete, let me go ahead and pull those up. I read the Masked City. This was the sequel to The Invisible Library. Ended up giving this an overall star rating of five. I really enjoyed it. And then the other thing that I read was Murder at the Library, a North Dakota um, library mystery. This is a series by Ellen Jacobson. I've loved everything that I've read by her. So um, I also enjoyed this, gave it a five star. So before I get into my reviews real quick, I will mention that um, uh, I think I have all of the episodes recorded for um, the read all over show that I've been planning. There's one that's kind of like hanging in the balance that may or may not be added. At this point, it is what it is. Um, so it's either going to be three and a half or four because one of them we broke up. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that, that that's coming at the end of this week and throughout the rest of this month. So that's some really cool content that I have coming. So let's get into the book reviews. Let's start with The Mass City. All right, we have... This hasn't happened to me in a long time, but I'm loving this series. I enjoyed this and the first book and I've already got the next one. I'm going to wait a few days before diving into the next one, but it's on my TBR for the surrounding month or so. So yeah, I've got it downloaded. I'm ready to read it, but I've started something else and something else. And I am getting back into the zone of reading multiple books at a time. So I still think this is probably going to get read sooner rather than later back to the review. All of my favorite characters from the first book are back except one, but she seems to be replaced by a mentor character and I'm cool with that. Though I do hope to get to see the missing frenemy at some point in the series. There were some other female friendships introduced and I enjoyed those as well. I'm also glad to see um, that more world hopping occurs in this book. Um, I was slightly disappointed at the assignment our librarian was given at the end of book one, fearing it would keep the story, the story too centralized to one location in a world designed to take the reader on many intoxicating journeys, but this book did not disappoint. Again, I can't rave enough about the MC of this story. Strong female character is only the beginning. I like her vulnerabilities because she finds reasonable practical ways to overcome them. She doesn't um, have to pretend to be so tough that nothing bothers her. She lets things bother her before she moves on and forward anyway. Plus, I enjoy any story where a woman gets to rescue a man, especially when it's not done in an emasculating way. Um, she does her part to get the guy safe and then has no problem stepping aside to let him do his thing um, to help both of them. But of course, that's only part of the story. My original thoughts about the male characters are the same. However, after reading this installment, it's hard not to be a little bit more in love with Kai. That whole story of Kai and his character and the dragons and all that kind of stuff, like I, I already knew that I liked that, but it really kind of just came forward in this installment. And so I'm all about 
Team Kai now, I guess. Uh, let's see. Back to, so the detective is still nice and all, but his old fashioned ways keep him a bit at arm's length for me. Um, I see him as a father figure constantly, if not reluctantly, willing to learn the ways of the youth. It really does help that he has Batman like detective skills going for him. Two things I was not expected to be so delighted by were the train and the description of the clothes. Um, I could say more, but I think I've done a pretty good job of not giving too many spoilers away. So this is where I'll stop. Highly recommend it for fans of high um, urban fantasy, book lovers, mystery enthusiasts, and fans of intricate worlds with diverse characters. So that is my review of The Mass City, five stars. I've got the next one in the series. It's been a long time since I've started a series and I've just wanted to devour it. And so I actually have two series that I'm doing that with right now. This one's a lot longer. It's a novel series. I'm doing the same thing with a novella series. But the point is... It feels good to be reading things that I'm enjoying. So next review. This one is Murder at the Library, a North Dakota library mystery. Again, this is by Ellen Jacobson. And so before I get into it, um, I've read all of her Molly McGee mysteries. Um, that's, you know, about the couple who lives on the boat and someone's always dying. And then she did a, a mystery romance series where like people are like traveling around to different locations and there's like a romance and mystery involved. And so... I can I can't remember if there was any connection between the characters in the romance mystery series to the Molly McGee, but there is definitely these two um, book series are in the same universe. So I I don't I don't know if this is a thing or not, but I'm all about the Jacobson mystery universe. That's what I'm calling it right now. And so this story takes place in that universe, which I think is really cool the way she connected the one story um, to the previous series. So anyway. Let me get into my five star review. Whew. I wasn't planning to read a month of library themed books, but it happened and it worked in my favor. I was already a fan of this author when I first discovered her new character, Thea, in a short story collection of cozy mysteries. When I had a chance to read the first book in this new series, I jumped on it. I was so delighted to discover that this story is part of the greater mystery world. Not sure the name of this universe, but so far I've enjoyed all of the Molly McGee stories, the travel romance stories, and now I'm loving the North Dakota library mysteries. Even though the two scenes were extremely small, the moose stole the show. I mean, I, I when you have a character like the moose, you know, but I digress. <laughs> but honestly, I really enjoyed all of the characters in the stories. Even the ones you weren't supposed to like were wonderfully bad. Um, it's odd to say that hope and tragedy go well together, but in a mystery story like this, it's true. There was one character I was really sad to see not make it to the end, but it made sense to the story. If you like to laugh while solving a mystery, this is a good book to pick up. Being someone who appreciates libraries helps too. I was offered a digital arc of this book in exchange for an honest review. All opinions are mine and unbiased. Highly recommended. So that is um, the two things that I read in the month of August. I've already started my September reading. I can't wait to share more with that. I'm excited that the things that I'm reading right now, not only am I enjoying them, but they're from authors that have appeared on my either read local show or my read all over show. And so that just in and of itself is exciting. So guys be on the lookout for the new content coming out this month. And um, yeah, I would love to know what you guys are doing in terms of reading. Do you got any plans coming up for the holiday? I have so much stuff planned in the month of September. I don't know how I'm going to get to all of it, but I'll be talking about more of that over at Patreon. So you can check it out there. So guys, until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.